Hey everybody. I just took a look at um, what some of you submitted for project part one and I wanted to reach out to everyone sooner rather than later. So even though we are still technically on a break week, uh, I still wanted to get this message posted uh, and get it out to you guys um, as soon as possible. So first of all, Project part one is asking you to come up with basically your game plan for the course project essay. So remember the course project essay is a literary essay on one of the two short stories we've been working with. The Story of an Hour by Kate Chopin and Hills Like White Elephants by Ernest Hemingway. So task one asks you to simply choose which story you want to work with. Task two asks you to develop a working thesis. Task three asked you to list your main points. Task four asked you to list the supporting details that you're gonna to use to help back up each of your main points. And then task five was just a place for you to ask me questions. And I want to make sure that everyone understands what each of those tasks really consisted of. For task one, when you're asked to choose which story that you want to work with, there's a prompt that's given. So if you choose that story, that's the prompt you're supposed to work with. And they're both, they're basically the same thing. The only thing that changes is which story. So for instance, option A, it says, what is the theme of the story of an hour and how does an analysis of literary elements enhance our understanding of that theme? You will need to choose at least three of the following elements to discuss in your essay. Structure, imagery and symbolism, point of view, setting and atmosphere. Okay. The essay's main purpose is for you to show how three of those literary elements, how an analysis of those elements reveals the theme to us. We've talked about all of these already. Structure was chapter seven. Imagery and symbolism was chapter eight. Both of those are in week three. Point of view is chapter nine. Setting and atmosphere is chapter 10. Those are in week four. And then we also looked at chapter 11, which is all about theme. So we have already discussed what the themes are for Story of an Hour and Hills Like White Elephants. You need to decide which theme you want to talk about in your essay. And you need to decide which of those, which literary elements you want to look at. You have to choose at least three of them. You can, you can look at all of them if you want. Your main points are those literary elements. So for example, if you chose story of an hour and you wanna talk about structure, imagery and symbolism, and setting and atmosphere, those are the three elements you wanna look at. Your first main point, structure, that is your first main point. The structure for the story of an hour reveals the theme of female self-discovery. Then you'll pull out specific supporting details about the story from the story to help explain what the structure is and how it reveals parts of the theme. And then you'll do the same thing for imagery and symbolism, and then the same thing for setting and atmosphere. You should not have to come up with your own main points. The main points for the essay are the elements you're gonna choose to look at. The theme should probably be one of the themes discussed in the PowerPoint as well. Everything that you are going to include, all of the main ideas anyway, that you're going to include in the essay, we have already gone over them 
in weeks three and four. What you have to do is just make some decisions which elements you want to look at, well first which story you want to work with, and then which elements you want to work with, and then you get to decide which supporting details from the story you want to include in each main point. So what elements from the story do you want to choose that show us the structure and then explain how those details reveal part of the theme? What elements do you want to include in your main point on imagery and symbolism? And how do those details reveal part of the theme? So your working thesis statement should really just take the question that's there in the prompt and flip it into a statement rather than a question. So it's asking you what, what is the theme and how do the literary elements enhance our understanding of that theme. Your thesis statement would be the structure, imagery and symbolism, and setting and atmosphere uh, enhance our understanding of the story of an hour and Mrs. Mallard's search for female identity or, you know, the confines of marriage, whichever one, whichever theme you're going with. Use the wording of the prompt and the elements that you're choosing to discuss in the essay. Use those to help develop the working thesis. Use the elements as your main point and then choose which details from the story you're going to include for each main point. A good bit of this work we've already looked at. We've got the PowerPoints and the video lessons, and then you had follow-up assignments on each one of these as well. So a good bit of the work has already been done, and I'm kind of I'm kind of really restricting where you can go with the essay. And some of you may not like that, some of you might want more freedom, but I feel like just to make sure everyone stays on the correct path, it's easier to do it this way, where we have already looked at all of these ideas, and now you simply get to choose which ones you want to look at and then create the essay about it. But use the prompt wisely. That is where your thesis comes from. That's where your main points come from. Okay? Now, if you have already submitted project part one, you should have my feedback by now. No one is required to redo it. If you missed points on it, it's probably just because you skipped one of the tasks and just left it blank. In that case, sure, you can resubmit it to get those missing points if you'd like. But no one is required to redo it. However, you can if you want. If you want me to take another look at it before you move on to the rough draft, I can do that. No problem. So you can either resubmit it in project part one or you can just email me and say hey you know i realized that i was a little off track you know here's what i'm thinking i'm going to do instead and i'll let you know if if now you are on the right track so no one's required to redo it you can if you want or you can simply email me what your new plan is for those of you who have not yet submitted project part one use this video to your advantage so that you know exactly now what I'm looking for, right, and what's expected of you. Um, but you do want to get Project Part 1 submitted as soon as possible. More than half the class still needs to do that. Um, we are almost at the end of the break week. Um, I was hoping that, you know, I'd get a few more in, um, and maybe we, I will this weekend. But you have to submit Project Part 1. It is a mandatory element for the class. Uh, and you have to get my feedback on it before you can do the rough draft, which is project part two. Um, so try to get that in as soon as possible if you haven't yet. Um, but for everyone, just use this explanation to your advantage 
use the PowerPoints and the video lessons and the assignment follow-ups that you've done. Use all of those to your advantage. That's where the discussion is supposed to come from. Okay, um, so you're kind of being given a good chunk of what you're supposed to write. What I'm looking for is that you can now give me a, an organized, focused essay about the story you've chosen. Okay, we've already talked about all of it. Now you just need to put it together in a formal essay with all of the required elements. Okay, um, so again, use this to your advantage. If you have any questions, let me know.